Hey everyone, so today I am going to be sh showing you what I do to find um, quotes and quotables for um, the Army of Youth for the quote cards that we make that are being posted all over social media um, and are getting thousands of views. Um, so where I am right now, I'm on my Google Drive and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in um, uh, the con content machine. So. The way I'm going to get them today is through um, through closed captions. Um, what the what it basically is is um, a transcript, but it has like numbers. It's it's timestamp, so it's easier to look look through. And in this content machine, uh, this is the Army View content machine. Um, I am going to go to sermons. This is the the example that I'm going to use today. But we also do this for uh, the daily live videos um, and for other things as well. Um, and there are also different ways that you can quote content, like um, you can listen to a video and just um, quote content that way and just get your uh, quotes from there. But for this example, I'm going to use closed captions. And the one that I'm going to work on is understanding your life work. And um, for what purpose are we created? Okay, so you'll see the it says um, the captions. These are the closed captions for what purpose are you created? And this is a, this is a long sermon, but these are broken up into um, smaller, um, smaller videos. Uh, yes, so they're not as long. So I'm going to open this. Um, all right, so this is how the closed captions look. And um, so the first thing that I do when I create, um, after I get these Closed captions is I open another um, I open another document just where wherever um, I just did in my own personal um, just so that you can take notes I'm using uh, Google Docs I really like using Google Docs so that's what I'm going to do so now that I have both of these open I'm going to put them side by side um, so that we can um, view both of them at the same time oh, oops. <laughs> All right, there you go, and there you go. All right, so I got my untitled uh, documents where I'm going to put the quotes that I'm going to get from here, and this this is the side that um, has the closed captions. All right, so the next thing that I'm um, one thing to remember while quoting content, the first thing to always remember is before you do this, pray. We know that um, nothing. Without God, nothing is possible. And even if we create all these good quotes, um, but if God is not in it, uh, what is the what is the use if God is not in it? It is the Holy Spirit that convicts and converts the soul. So um, that is definitely one thing that I suggest you do first before you quote content. Um, and after that, what I do is I go through this document. Sometimes I skim through it. Like um, some parts, you know, are not going to be um, quotables because um, because of like how he's saying it or like what he is saying, um, what is being said in here. But I just uh, go through it. Sometimes I'm 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 not that fast of a reader. Some people you might be a faster reader than I am <laughs> at doing this. But um, so what I just do is I go through the document, and things to look for are things like. Um, what we value here at the Army of Youth, like um, our, all of our values, stepping out of our comfort zone, going for Christ, um, working for God, and um, and anything that is like a really like an aha moment, like wow, people really need to know this. Like, um, yeah, I we, we're gonna have a checklist on the things to um, to look for as well. Um, but yeah, so what? the first what i'll do is i'll just go through this document um for what purpose are we created what's going on is uh oh and just remember that this is not this is a transcript so some of these words were not transcripted properly um because it's just a um, automatic thing that does that happens so sometimes you have to like um try and understand what is trying to be said but um usually it's it's not too bad um for what purpose are we created what's going on is um, M43, Isaiah 43, and verse, 
um, seven. I love how practical and relevant Bible it, relevant Bible is a phrase. No glory he has left us without counsel. These questions, I am, um, I am not. 43 verse 7, notice what the scripture says. Okay, now he's starting to um, quote the scripture. Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created my, my, him for my glory. For I have formed him, yea, I have made them. So we were created for the glory of God. Our purpose is something much bigger than bringing glory to ourselves. Wow. We are created for the glory of God. Our purpose is something much bigger than bringing glory to ourselves. Um, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to create a number list um, for the quotes. Um, for Okay, what I'm going to do is we were created, control C. V. And there's probably a different way you can type it out on this side too, but um, I'm just going to copy and paste it and then wordsmith it later on for the control C. Control V. We were created for the glory of God. Um, there's a deeper reason why we were born. How do we glorify God? Because if this is the library um, created, this is where we go. We are going to finally to find the greatest joy, the greatest happiness in fulfilling God's glorious plan. We are going to find the greatest joy, the greatest happiness in fulfilling God's glorious plan. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna put control C. Oops, not that one. <laughs> control C. Control V. Find the greatest joy, the greatest happiness in fulfilling God's glorious plan. Fulfilling God's um, glorious plan for our individual lives. Um, let me just do this. Control C. All right, Control V. So, um, one thing that I that we do is um, for each of these quotes, we find a, um, a verse that is relevant to it. And one thing to always keep in mind, um, and if you're struggling with finding verses, um, is f usually like here you can see he already mentioned um, um, Jeremiah 43 verse 7. Or no, no. Was it Isaiah 43 verse 7? Yeah, and you can you can look them up. I can um, go to eSword. Oops. <laughs> no. Um, and find it on there as well. Oh, I guess it's just a little slow. <laughs> Okay, so you can find it there as well. Um, um, but a lot of times I wait for the, uh, and do the verses afterwards, but I mean, whatever, whatever works best for you. Um, um, all right, let's just continue on. 
Our purpose is something much bigger than bringing glory to ourselves. Um, there's a deeper reason why we were born. How do we glorify God? Because if this is the library created this, we I'm not exactly sure it created this, is where we're going to finally find find the greatest joy, greatest happiness, and fulfilling God's glorious plan for our individual lives. Turn with me to John 15, verse 8. John chapter 15. We're going to read verse 8. How do we glorify God? John 15, verse 8. The scripture says, Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit. So God has endowed us with faculties and is entrusted and is entrusted us and has entrusted us with talents that we can use them for him to every man to give is given a word it's not merely so that we can bear much fruit in our fields of corn and our beefs <laughs> but that we can be earnest persevering in the work of saving souls Um, earnest and persevering, persevering in the work of sin. Um, control C. We're going to do this. All right. So, control V. All right, control V. Earnest persevering in the work. Okay, so I'm gonna write the fruit, fruit that God wants to see is us. Being earnest, earnest, Persevering in the work of saving souls. Wow. So that is the fruit that God wants us to see. And the scripture that um, goes with that is... Okay. There you go. <laughs> um, is John 15, verse 8. So let me type that in. John 15, verse 8. And I highly recommend you get um, Esword on, on the... On the laptop or the PC, um, it is it is free. You don't have to buy it. So, I um, I really encourage you to get eSword. It's like the best um, <laughs> the best uh, Bible app that I've ever had that I've ever used. It's so it's so easy to use. Um, so I'm gonna use this verse um, that you bear much. So shall ye be my disciples. Um, this is a verse that you could use oops um, John 15 verse uh, 8 that you bear much fruit God has endowed us with faculties and it is entrusted us with talents that we can use them for him to every man is given a word. It's not merely so that we can bear much fruit in fields and corns. Okay, this is where I was. Oh, the work is saving souls. Um, that God wants us to harness, to participate in the work of saving souls is bigger than just our personal businesses or our personal occupation. No matter what we are doing in life, the work of saving souls is intertwined with the life work. Hmm. So what I could do is no matter um, what we are doing in life, The work of 
saving souls. Um, should be intertwined. Intertwined. I might um, reword that a little later, different later. Um, with the life work of all the methods, the occupation might be different, but all life work includes evangelism. Maybe that's a better way of saying it. All our life work includes evangelism. Yeah, that's definitely a better way of saying it. And it encapsulates it. And one thing to always remember is um, to not have the quotes too long because um, they are supposed to fit on a card. Um, and the more words, it's more more words for the people to read. And usually when you look at a picture, there's not too many words on there. Um, so that's one thing um, to remember. Includes evangelism and sharing with others. No gotta share books. <laughs> I think that's... Um, we aren't his witnesses. Um, so there's, there's nothing, there's another title, title concept in it. Mark chapter 11, Mark chapter 11, we are going to read verse 24. We touched upon it and I heard someone. Um, okay, that's interesting. Mark chapter 11, verse 24, Jesus said, Therefore I stand to, to you whatsoever uh, what things soever ye ye what ye desire, are we all dear friends? Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Sometimes the translations are better than at other times. Um, so, uh, therefore I stand to you. What so whatsoever what things soever ye des ye what ye desire, are we all dear friends? Yeah. Therefore I do, I say to you. Okay, that is a very bad way of saying it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Mark 11, verse 24, and um, read it and see if we can use that verse. M-A-R 11, verse 24. Okay. So, therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. So, that's the verse that he's bringing out right here. Yea, therefore, I say to you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye shall receive them, and ye shall have them. So prayer and faith are closely allied. They need to be spending together in the prayer of faith. Is a divine science that all of us need to understand. For our life work. Okay, because... God has promised that whatever whatever it is that we desire, we need to pray for the things that God has promised, and then we must do it according to His will and use it for fulfilling His will. Oops. Um, and use it for fulfilling His will. Then the conditions met. The promise is unequivocal. We shall receive prayer and faith. And when you look at this desire, God, God has a beautiful promise in Psalm 37, verse 4. Um, whatsoever you desire. So people like to t take the person and take it out of context. And they just say, like, okay, I desire a new Ferrari. <laughs> God's going to give me a new Ferrari. But it doesn't work that way, friends. Then there are conditions to this desire. It's a specific desire. Okay. Michael was mentioning that lust is simply um, an evil desire, but notice what God, God says in verse 37. For delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give me the desires, plural, of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall reign in two paths. Um, it's a beautiful prompt, uh, 
God is, not goddess. God is promising the sanctified desires of our heart. God will give you the sanctified desires of your heart. When you pray, God will give you the sanctified of your heart. Let me see. When you pray. When you pray in faith, God will give you the sanctified desires of your heart. Hmm. And that is in th Psalm 37 verse 4. I am going to look up these verses after just to make sure. Or, um, I'm going to shorten it. PSA. Psalm 37, verse 4. Oops. Psalm 37, verse 4. Okay. PSA 37, verse 4. Yes, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Um, well, it kind of goes with two scriptures, um, and also the Mark 11, um, which was this one, Mark 11, verse 24. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe Mark 11, verse 24. So we could either, we could use both of them, um, or Mark 11, verse 24 is probably a better one. They kind of both go um, hand in hand. But um, this one doesn't say, like, when you pray. It says, um, delight thyself also in the Lord. So it says, delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So, um, and, the, and this one says, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. But we know that there's a condition. So both of them should work. Um, all right. Okay, Michael was mentioning that lust is simply an evil desire, but notice what God says in verse 37. For you like thyself also, um, I think we already read this. Beautiful, God is promising the sanctified desires of our hearts. It is the desires that are that is in harmony with the will of God. We are praying for things that do not violate the principles that he has set forth in the scriptures and we commit our ways to God. This was one of the four rules of safely choosing an occupation. Commit your way to God, trusting in him, delighting ourselves in him and recognizing wherever they are, providence has placed us here. Um, okay. Commit yourself to God. Um, Trust in and let me see, committing our ways to God, trusting in Him, delighting ourselves in Him, and recognizing wherever they are. Um, I guess. Commit yourself to God, trust in Him, and He um, 
give you He will give you the sanctified desires of your heart. Um Commit yourself to God. Trust in him. So this quote is a little bit long. Um, so. I'm going to do this. Because that's uh, just extra. And he. I'm going to capitalize. H. Oh. And I have the sanctified. No choice of your heart. And that would be the same verse, um, PSA 37 verse four. <clears throat> and recognizing wherever they are, providence has placed us here. And whenever independent um, did you Oops. Uh, okay. Providence has placed us here, and whenever independent did you do, oh, um, God is going to help remember this. The scripture song in 1 John 5, verse 14. Let's sing it together. This is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. He hears us if we ask anything according to his will. And, and if we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire. And this is the confidence, uh, First John 5, 4. That is some interesting spelling. But anyways, <laughs> interesting words. Um, this will, uh, will we have the petitions we desire of him according to his will. We have confidence. I love that confidence we have in Christ. Okay, I don't think, okay, this. But we have the petitions that we desired of him. We desired of him. But it is to be according to his will. And we have a confidence. I love that confidence we have in Christ. We, it, we don't have to go as a, Band of mourners, yes, being very perplexed and confused. Oh, wow, we don't have to. Um, wow, <laughs> we don't have to be a band. of M-O-U mourners you don't have to be a band of mourners <sighs> wow being very perplexed and confused and constantly in a state of unrest but we can have a trust in the Lord. We can have internal peace when there's external havoc. A madman. Um, external habit. I think that's external havoc. Okay, we don't have to be a band of mourners. We can have... When there is X, havoc, I think that's the word. Let me see. It says have it here. I think that's how you spell it, <laughs> but that's okay. Um. All right, 
Simply by trusting in the Lord, we'll cease to worry about the future. And you will, s okay. Put your trust in the Lord and you will cease to worry about the future. There you go. You will cease to, to worry about the future. All right, so that was the end of the document, um, this this document. So now that we've gone through this, the next thing that I am going to do is um, I'm going to reword some of these quotes. Maybe I'm not going to use um, all these quotes. Some, like when I'm recording a video um, and I don't really, um, well, I when, sometimes when you're, um, I record a video, I like jot down a lot, a lot of quotes that I hear. And the thing is that this, like this, this, uh, these closed captions was like only a small portion, maybe like a five minute or two minute video. Um, so that's why it only has like nine pages, but like, if it's a long video, it's, it's going to be a lot longer. Um, so yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind. And then you'll have like a lot more, but for like, um, a short, the short, uh, how short this video was. This is quite a bit of quotes. And um, um, the more quotes we can get, the better. But we don't want to um, get um, like too many quotes that say the exact same thing. Or, I mean, it depends because we do create a lot of quotes and we can use them for different times as well. Um, so, all right, so now we got that done. What I'm going to do next um, is for, um, this is called, for what purpose were you created? Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Notion and control, hit control P, um, and I'm gonna hit the quote card database. Um, and I'm gonna put that on this side now so that we have both things open again. All right, so we got that, I'm gonna, so I have more space to, to look, all right. So we got that. We were created for the glory for the glory of God. Um, the scripture I think that was said over here was Isaiah. I think it was Isaiah thirty-seven. Let me see. Isaiah thirty-seven, verse number nine. No, <laughs> that was not the one. Okay, I'm gonna go back because I know the scripture was mentioned here. I, oh, I see. Yeah, Forty-three verse seven. Okay. I S A Isaiah forty-three and verse number seven. Yes, that's the one. Isaiah forty-three verse seven. Um. So I S A forty-three verse seven. We are going to find, um, we were created for the glory of God. I can make this, you are created for the glory of God. For the glory of God. We are going to find the greatest joy, the greatest happiness in fulfilling God's glorious plan. Um, this is a little bit of a lengthy quote in fulfilling God's plan. Um, 
So what I'm gonna do is we are going um, try try and wordsmith this um, that it's so that it's a lot a little shorter. Um, we are going to find the greatest joy, the greatest happiness in fulfilling God's glorious plan. Um, the greatest joy and the greatest happiness is synonymous, or like those two are saying the same thing, but different worded differently. Um, to find the greatest joy. We are going to find the greatest joy when, when fulfilling, um, is that a double space? There you go. When fulfilling God's glorious plan, when, when we are. Okay, we are going to find the greatest joy when we are fulfilling God's glorious plan. And we can use this the same scripture for that. This probably control C. Control V. Yeah, the fruit that God wants us to wants to see is us being earnest, persevering in the work of saving souls. Okay, so um, the fruit God wants to see, um, the fruit God wants to see is us persevering in the work of saving souls. Hmm. All right. So you can see that it's, um, it's a little shorter um, that way. And because they were synonymous, so persevering and, well, not really synonymous. It was just another one. So I just didn't want to make it too lengthy. Um, no matter what we are doing in life, the work in life, the work of saving souls should be um, intertwined. Or we could do do it this way: um, the work of saving souls should be in. Intertwined. Intertwined in all we do in life. Okay. All our life work includes evangelism. Because this one's a little lengthy, that's why. So I'm going to delete this one. All our life work includes evangelism. Um, what is the quote? Or what is the Bible verse that we can use? Um, since these, these three already have Bible verses, some of these do, some of these don't. But um, whatever verse comes to your mind about um, working for God evan and evangelism. So knowing the word of God is really important. And I know you can find hints in like um, these verses over here, like these verses that are mentioned in the in the um, in the closed captions as well. Um, but sometimes you need to find um, different verses as well. And a lot of times, like for these quotes, if they're on the same, like on the same topic, a lot of times you can use the same verses. But um, yeah, it just depends. So all our life work includes evangelism. Um, um, and John 15, verse 8. You know, let me look up John 15, 
15 and verse number 8. Um, Hear neither Father glorify that ye bear much fruit. So, um, um, okay, one thing that we could do is we could go through uh, to something that's called the TSK. This is how I study the Word of God oftentimes, and it is really, really helpful. I really enjoy studying the Word of God, and a lot of pastors use this as well. Um, so if you can't, like, find a specific verse, um, and it's like, it kind of, like, this quote would work, but I want to one that is a little bit stronger. Um, you can also go through here um, to see if... Um, okay, that people also shall be... All righteous, the branch of my planting. Uh, no. no, that's not really what I'm looking for. That that verse would work. Um, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your God, your Father which is in heaven. This verse potentially would work. Um, let me see if I can find another one. Um, sorry, I'm just skimming through this. Um, and by their prayer for you. Uh, Because God calls us all to be lights. That's why I think that one would work um, as well. Um, This one would work. Let your light so shine before men. You could also do... um, Um... So one thing that really helps when finding verses is the TSK and also just any um, like the concordance too. If you can think of any word, like um, if you, if I press control S, there you go. That's what um, this is like a electronic concordance. So another verse that I was thinking of is how beautiful B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L are the feet of those that publish. Um, let me see the feet of them that bring good tidings but um, I'm just wondering how does it encapsulate the whole world like um, preaching the gospel like everyone has the duty of preaching the gospel so we could see if there's any verses here um I'm gonna exit it That would be a really good verse. You know, go in, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Um, as well. The word which God sent to the children of Israel preaching by Jesus Christ. Yeah, this one would work as well. And then there's uh, also Matthew, um, Matthew 28. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. There you go. Um, wow, that would be a really good verse. John 15, verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Um, And bring forth fruit. Let 
Mm-hmm. I kind of like John 15 verse 16. Uh, so we could do that. John 15 verse 16. Um, capital J. And uh, also Matthew 28 verse, which verse was it? Hmm. 20 verse 19. God will give you the sanctified desires of your heart. Okay, for this one, I think I'm just going to do this. Okay, commit yourself to God and he will give you the sanctified desires of your heart. When you pray in faith, God will give you the sanctified desires of your heart. Um, we don't have to... Uh, we don't have to be a band of mourners. We can have internal peace when there's external havoc. So for this verse, um, what you could do is, con uh, well, I guess if you're going to type in control S, if you're just going to type in um, peace, you're going to find like a lot of results. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot of results. 429 <laughs> matches. So, um, peace i'm thinking of a few verses there's um that talk about peace um it's in isaiah isaiah 43 i believe um Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. That is not the verse that I'm looking for. Um, that we see. You can also type in more keywords if you know them. Um, these are some really good verses. What Jesus said, um, These things I have spoken unto you that you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. That would be a really good verse, actually. John 16, verse 33. Um, These things I have spoken unto you that you might have peace. John 16, verse 33. That is uh, probably one of the best verses that we can find. Um, better than the one that I was actually looking for. And I probably would have found it, but um, eventually... Um, doing it a different way, the way um, I was going to go to Isaiah, I think it's 43, but John 16, verse 33. Um, John 16, verse 33. Put your trust in the Lord and you will cease to worry about the future. And you will see, um, which we could do the same verse for that one. John 16, verse 33 as well. All right. John 16, verse 33. Okay, so now that we got that, all the verses for it, um, I'm going to exit out of this so that there's not too many tabs. Okay, now I'm going to go to the quote card database. And um, I'm gonna put them in into the gold card database, and this is like uh, our final step um, that we have to do. So I'm gonna click. Um, this is the quote card database. You can type in like Control P and find it. It's this one. It's in this one too, but you have to like. Um, uh, it's underneath it, but it's just that this is just the one page, um, and just click hit new and you'll see this pop up. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is um, 
what I usually do is I press control well I guess you could do control X for that one control V uh, and put it here in here and interesting why um, okay and then I just um, I uh, hit um, control X and then control V for the Bible reference and then all that we have left is putting in the pillar of content um, and we've already since this is a like it's part of a bigger sermon this one's called for what um, purpose were you created but it's part of a bigger video um, it's the sermon is called the life work um, for what purpose were you created yeah, I can put that one in there. Um, captions, for what purpose were you created? Um, it's a sermon, so I'm gonna put sermon, and then for what purpose were you created and usually if this is like a um if you're doing it for a daily live video i usually just put the daily live video number in it um because we all have them all numbered but um because this is a sermon we need to know what sermon it is so um and this is like so that's what we're gonna do what i'm gonna do is so i don't have to like copy it every time i'm gonna press Control c and put it over here <laughs> so that i don't have Control v there you go Okay, so now that we got that one done, we can just continue putting them in here. Um, control C, Control V, and put this Control X, Control V. Okay, let me see. when there's external havoc. All right, and then control C, control V. All right, so um, just delete that one too. Okay, so, uh, because this is a lengthy uh, video already, so I'm not going to put all these in here um, for now. But sometimes, like um, w things to keep in remem in rem uh, to remember is like don't have the quotes too long. Um, there's not like a exact specific length, but like once um, uh, because they're on quote cards, we like to keep them as short as possible. So like wordsmithing these um, is is a really good idea um but yes i hope this video was helpful to you um and thank you so much for watching and bearing with me while i do while i do it i hope um this was a blessing and thank you so much for watching this video have a blessed day